Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a new Chanel beauty and accessories haul. Everything is stacked on the vanity behind me. To mark the occasion, I threw on my new Chanel inspired cardigan dress. It's this really nice, very lightweight knit material, baby pink with the black trim. And then it has gold buttons down the center and a belt, two faux pockets here at the top, and it looks nearly identical to one of the Chanel cardigan dresses that was part of the spring 2020 runway show. And I loved that entire collection, so much baby pink. I remember taking screenshots of everything. And as soon as I saw this dress available at Revolve, I picked it up because I think the Chanel cardigan dress was probably close to $10,000, but this dress is closer to 200, but I always wait until I get some sort of promo code or discount code before I check out. I will make sure I link it down below in case you're interested. But I styled the dress today with some new jewelry from Ana Luisa, one of my all-time favorite jewelry brands. And I'm sure many of you guys know that I am a brand ambassador for Ana Luisa. I'm now going into my second official year as a brand ambassador, but I've been working with them on and off and wearing their jewelry for probably closer to four to five years now. I love Ana Luisa so much because not only do they create just incredible, high quality, very fashionable pieces, but all of their materials are ethically sourced all of their packaging is recyclable and they are 100% carbon neutral and creating really beautiful planet-friendly jewelry is their number one mission. The majority of jewelry you see me wearing in my videos comes from Ana Luisa, but today I am wearing some new pieces. I have these really pretty gold hoops with the little pearl. I kind of thought with this Chanel inspired cardigan, the pearl would be a really nice touch. So I love these hoops. And then I also threw on this little mother of pearl plated necklace, which is really pretty. I think it elevates the look. It sort of completes the outfit, but it doesn't take away from the outfit. It doesn't look cheap. I think it actually elevates everything. And that's also why I love wearing their pieces is because you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear the pieces year round. Even if you're wearing something as simple as jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and a white button down, you throw on one of their stackable necklaces or some of their really dainty earrings and you look like a million bucks. It's just instant style, so easy. And I do have a coupon code with them for 10% off, so I will link that at the top of the description box down below in case you're interested. Their prices are very reasonable. No luxury markups, even though it's really high quality. In fact, I've never had a piece tarnish or break on me. And their prices start around $39 and they go up from there. So there's definitely something for all price points. I will also make sure I list a couple of my favorite styles down below in case anybody would like to twin with me and pick up these really pretty pearl hoops. These might be my new favorite earrings from them. I have a couple pairs that I kind of rotate between. Everything you need to know will be listed down below. Now let's get into this new Chanel beauty. Unfortunately, this is not the holiday collection. In fact, when I was at the boutique, they mentioned that they didn't think it was going to be launched until October now. The last time I was there, they said maybe by the end of September. This time they said October. They have me on the list. They know to sound the alarm as soon as they get a date. So I will make sure to sound the alarm for you guys and let you know. But they did receive some new Chanel skincare. And thank you guys for pointing this out to me. I had a couple people reach out and ask if I was planning to review. And I had no idea. So I went to the website and sure enough, some really interesting looking pieces. They always wrap everything so nicely in the tissue and then they spoil me with samples, which is always really nice, especially the mascara samples. I love those. I have a couple samples of Supumage as well. This is the La Creme and this is also the La Creme, but I think, yes. I have two samples that come in the little pots that they made in store. This one is the new Sublimage Perfector. This is the new primer. Oh, it's at the top of my wish list. It looks so beautiful. This primer that's part of the Sublimage line, it has the skincare in it. It almost looks like a little twist and spray, similar to the Le Brum Mist, but it, it almost has a golden iridescent finish. I was blown away. I was not expecting much. I wasn't sure how it was going to feel. Wasn't really interested at all until I felt it on my skin in store. At some point, I am gonna go ahead and purchase this because it feels amazing. It has the perfect texture for a primer, but the glow it gives the skin is really nice. And then they also included the Sublimage La Creme Declate. This is, I think, the body cream. This is also on my wish list, but not quite as high up as the new primer. 
put this back here to get it out of the way. So the two pieces of skincare I did end up purchasing are the Hydra Beauty Camellia Glow Concentrate. This is the Gentle Exfoliating Hydration with HAAs. AHAs. <laughs> Sorry. I read about this before I visited the boutique and it sounded so interesting I had to purchase. And then I also picked up the new Low de Mousse Anti-Pollution Water to Foam Cleanser. I think I have, no I don't have the mousse right now, but I have the oil cleanser, I have the gel, and then now I have this Low de Mousse Cleanser. But I love the cleansers from Chanel. I think the skincare in general from Chanel, I know I've said it a million times, very underrated because Chanel doesn't market themselves as being a skincare brand or a research type of brand, but they do a lot of research. They work with lead dermatologists to develop all of their products, but they market themselves as a luxury brand. So I think a lot of people just assume it's not that good and they're just slapping the Chanel name, the Chanel label on their products. Not the case. The cleansers are some of the best. The toners, the moisturizers, eye creams, just everything is really good. So I'm excited to test this out. In fact, I'll wash my face later and I will show you what it feels like. Let me open it up. They raised the prices a little bit. They used to be $45 for kind of the standard line of cleansers and toners. But I think it's now $47. So it went up two bucks. It looks very thin. The gel is much thicker than this. So I'll be very curious to test it out and see how it goes from the water to the mousse. On the back it says self foaming cleansing water with one simple press. This water transforms into a foam to purify skin while helping preserve its natural barrier. That's what I love the most about the cleansers from Chanel is that they're never harsh. They don't strip the skin and yet they leave your skin feeling very fresh, clean. They remove all of the traces of dirt and makeup. It says skin is clean, comfortable, and appears luminous. Rinse off formula. And then the second piece I picked up here is this Hydra Beauty Camellia Glow Concentrate, the Gentle Exfoliating Hydration with AHAs, which are alpha hydroxy acids. They help to exfoliate the skin, and this is an exfoliating serum. And what I read online, it says that you can layer this with other serums, but you only want to use this in the evening. So this is not an AM PM. It's not something you're going to want to use underneath makeup. Evenings only. And it says that you can use it as a 30-day treatment, but then I guess stop and kind of use it for 30 days and then give it a rest, maybe take a break for 30 days, and then I guess you can start it again. So I think that's probably just a precaution just in case you are somewhat sensitive to acids. I am not. Um, so I could probably use this every single day and it wouldn't be an issue for me. That being said, I'm gonna follow the instructions and only use it for 30 days. And I think the bottle is small enough. It's kind of the size of the eye serum. Probably won't last past 30 days. So I imagine this is a month supply, one to two pumps for the entire face. And then of course, I like to bring everything down, neck, chest, decollete, treat this like the skin on your face. And it will help to gently exfoliate your skin while you're sleeping, giving you that fresh glow, helping to slough off the top layer of dead skin cells. That way it brings new skin to the surface. It will help diminish fine lines, um, dark spots, melasma, sun damage, all of those things. Inside this box, there is a little pamphlet with instructions. They've done away with this for the majority of their skincare because they're trying to be more eco-friendly, but I think because it has the AHAs, they probably wanted to include this just in case somebody purchases without doing their research online. But it says, when confronted with multiple micro stressors every day, skin can become fatigued and its natural renewal process slows down. Also, that happens with age. When dead cells build up, skin becomes rough and dull, pores are more visible, and the complexion loses its luster. So skin needs a fresh start to regain its innate radiance. Two targeted ingredients, an exfoliating complex of three AHAs, the alpha hydroxy acids, specifically formulated to provide gradual effects and keep skin feeling comfortable. And then it also has a camellia yeast extract which is specially developed for Chanel. It helps to support skin's natural hyaluronic acid production. I'm gonna pump it on the back of my hand just so I can feel the texture. I don't wanna waste it because this bottle is so small. So it comes out, it's a clear gel. It does have that same Hydra Beauty Camellia extract scent to it. It's very faint though. Yeah, like I can barely even smell it anymore. I think if you're really sensitive to fragrance, you'd probably be fine. 
has a nice slip to it. It feels very silky. Very smooth, not really oily, but very smooth. So let me know if you'd like an in-depth review of this new Hydra Beauty Camellia Glow Concentrate because that way I will know to journal the entire process. I'll take a lot of before pictures and video that way you can really see my skin and then I will take you through the process of the 30 days and then we'll see at the end of the treatment if there's any noticeable results. Moving on now from beauty to accessories, I have a couple new Chanel accessories here. These I did not plan to purchase, but as soon as I saw them and I heard the story behind them, I could not leave them in the store, so I really didn't have a choice. It was kind of out of my hands, but I picked up another pair of Chanel sunglasses. I am always on the hunt for new sunglasses. I wear them all the time. I take really good care of them, so I have no problem investing in, in a good pair. And I've been looking out for a pair of white sunglasses. I actually purchased a pair of Lueve sunglasses. I'll show them to you guys, but they're huge. I had to order them online. I couldn't see them in store. So those will be going back because they don't fit, unfortunately. Chanel has a really nice pair of white ones as well. They recently restocked, but they don't quite fit my face just right. I don't know. There's something about them that I don't love. And I'm not set on just Chanel. It could be any brand. But you know when you spot a unicorn, you just can't ignore it. And that's what happened here. I'm really very lucky. I love my extended Chanel Beauty family. I work with the best sales associate. His name is Gio at the Brickell City Center Chanel Beauty Boutique. Of course, everybody there is amazing. Just stellar customer service. I will link his information down below in case anybody is looking for a Chanel sales associate, but every time they come out with something really special or they're going to have something really special, he always lets me know. He'll always text me and invite me into the store because they never get a huge supply of products and they tend to sell out really quickly. So a couple days ago, he sent me a photo of these sunglasses and he said, these are new, we're getting them tomorrow, just giving you a heads up. And they looked really beautiful. So I knew I wanted to see them in person, even though they weren't white, I was still interested because the photo looked so nice. And sure enough, when I saw them in the store, I had to get them. So this is the box. This is the little soft case looks the same as all of the other cases. It's really nice. I still wish they had the hard cases, but the soft ones are nice because it has the little quilted stitch on the back. It sort of looks like a Chanel handbag. These are part of the podium collection, I was told, which means that this particular style was worn on the runway. So not all Chanel sunglasses styles are worn in their runway fashion shows, but this was part of the collection that was featured on the runway and they only received one pair of each. They received one pair of the black, which is the one that I picked up, and they received one other pair of the similar style, except they had sort of a pink burgundy lens. Which, if they were pink and the entire pair of sunglasses was pink, maybe I would go for those. But because they had kind of just the burgundy lens, I actually prefer these. I think they're just very sleek and chic. So they have bling on them. On the sides, they have the little CC. And then along the top, they have Swarovski crystals. So special. They received one pair, one single pair, and I just happened to get there in time to pick them up. And I think I even waited a day or two after he texted me to go see them. So I got very lucky. If I had waited and gone home to think about it, they probably would have disappeared that night because that's just the way the cookie crumbles there and it has happened to me before. I've been burned in the past and I learned my lesson. So even though I was not looking to spend $900 on a pair of Chanel sunglasses, these are a lot pricier than the ones that I'm returning, I couldn't help myself because I knew this is kind of an early Christmas gift. I just thought, you know what, they're so special. I love the sparkle, the bling. It's so nice and I think they just look really cool. I love the mirrored lens. It looks very sleek and chic and I really like the black on black. It's kind of a slate gray kind of silver metallic and then the crystals are sort of silvery. Most of my other black sunglasses are black and gold so point of difference there. And they almost have the same shape or a similar shape as the shield sunglasses that I picked up the last time which those are black and gold and they're just a bit more casual. I remember when I showed them off in the video, a lot of people commented that they thought they looked a little bit dated, 
not like dated dated but kind of 2000s j-lo but that style is back i've seen a lot of celebrities recently spotted wearing shield style sunglasses like kim kardashian in fact all of the kardashians dior still has a lot of shield sunglasses and they're bringing out new styles so i don't think it's going away anytime soon now the real test is to see what they look like so let me try them on for you They're a teeny, 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 tiny bit big, but I did have them adjust them in the back a little bit and they don't fall. I can shake my head and they're not going anywhere, but I just love them. They look so cool. This is my first time really trying them on with hair and makeup done because when I ran into the boutique, I had my hair in a ponytail and basically gym clothes on. So this is my first time really seeing them with a look, styled. And I love the all black matrix type look. I feel like something like this you could do with a sleek ponytail or a sleek bun. I actually don't think it looks terrible with this dress. But because the dress has gold and I'm wearing gold jewelry, I probably wouldn't grab these. I'd grab a different pair. But with silver or just an all black outfit, black bag with silver hardware, doesn't get more chic than that, does it? These I had to purchase on a whim, but I'm not mad about it. I love them. I think they are so special. And truly something this rare, if I wanted to, I could probably resell them for a profit. I'm not in the resell business. I'm not looking to do that. I'm more of a collector, so I'm gonna hold on to them. I think they're gorgeous. That's what I tell myself to justify the purchase because it was a bit of a whim, but I love them. Early Christmas gift, Christmas come early. I have one more item left to unbox. Last but not least, this giant Chanel box. This was my very first purchase from Fashion File. If you don't know what it is, it's a website. It's basically a reseller's website. So you can purchase brand new, giftable new items with tags still attached, everything. But you can also find some things in excellent condition, very good, good, used items. It's a great place to look for something very specific if it's an older style and you slept on it and you decided years later that you wanted it. That's a great place to look. Everybody I've heard from that has shopped Fashion File has had nothing but great things to say. Now, when it comes to the handbags, you can Google it and you'll find maybe a, a couple horror stories of people making a huge purchase and finding out later on that it's inauthentic, but they stand by their products 100%. If you find out that it's inauthentic, you can always return it. But like I said, most everybody that I know of that, that shops from Fashion File, nothing but great things. And they have all different types of brands. You can purchase Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. I also really like Rebag, LXR & Co, Farfetch also sells some used designer items. So those are other great reputable websites that you can check. The Real Real, of course. Um, but these I purchased from Fashion File, my very first purchase. Now this was a purchase that was planned because I have been thinking about these shoes for a really long time. This is one of those occasions where it took me years to finally pull the trigger when I still worked at Nordstrom. So that in itself was two years ago. I remember seeing a lady come in and she was dressed very casually in like workout gear, loungewear, and she had these beautiful Chanel sneakers on. And I thought, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. Even though she looks very casual, she still looks very put together. I love those shoes. And I waited. I think I talked about it last Christmas. I said I was on the hunt for Chanel sneakers. I ended up not getting them because I couldn't find a style that I really liked. Her style that she was wearing was of course sold out because they were a couple years old. So I've been searching Fashion File to try to find the exact pair and I wasn't successful. These are not the exact same pair she had, but they are so similar. So this is a very old style and I think I got a really great deal for them. These were listed as new and giftable. So you look at them and they basically look untouched. They still have the tag on the box. They came with the box with the ribbon that originally came on the box. They also have these extra Chanel shoelaces in there and the bottoms look completely clean. So I don't think they were ever worn. I imagine somebody 
maybe received these as a gift or maybe they purchased them, tried them on and thought they would wear them but never did because I haven't seen this style on the Chanel website in a long time. I think they're probably a few years old, but they're black and white Chanel sneakers. I mean, they're not exactly out of style. I think they are really cool. They are exactly what I wanted, even though I don't think it's the same style I saw on the woman, that's fine. It's the overall look that I'm trying to achieve. I will be able to do so with these sneakers. And they'll go with everything because they're neutrals. So I see myself wearing these maybe with loungewear for travel, kind of airport chic with jeans and a t-shirt, pants and a t-shirt, but also a cute little mini skirt or a mini dress and a jacket. Just something very cool, casual, but you still want to look like you put in some effort. I don't have a lot of sneakers. I don't own any Golden Goose. I don't actually own any sneakers besides the ones that I wear to work out and they're filthy and disgusting. I really don't wear those out and about unless I kind of have to, like I'm running errands and I just happen to be in my workout stuff. I paid close to $800 for these, so even though they were secondhand, you know, not directly from a Chanel retailer, they were still very expensive. It's Chanel. It's never going to be inexpensive. But the other sneakers, like the newer styles from last season that are available on Fashion File right now, they're going for $1,400, $1,500 and up. I think I saw a pair of sneakers for $1,600. Crazy. So I feel like even though they were expensive, I feel like I got a really great deal. And I've wanted these for such a long time. I'm so happy I finally crossed them off my list. This is what I was looking for all last Christmas season. I've been putting it off and thinking about them, thinking about them. So when I saw that they were available in new giftable condition in my size, it's kind of like the sunglasses. I had no choice. There are so many cute details on these sneakers. I love, of course, the suede CC right here. They're nylon and suede. I did think it was going to be more of a harsh black. The CC looks black, but this looks kind of like a weathered black, almost like a really deep dark gray. It's not quite as black black as I thought they were going to be. Not a huge deal, I think from a distance, anybody looking at my feet is going to see it as a white and black sneaker. So I love the black CC. And there's a little black and white CC there. And then on the inside, it says Chanel. And then on the bottom, it has this really cool design and each one of these little circles right here has a little CC, a little logo. But they look completely clean. I really don't think anybody has worn them. They would have had to be so careful. I think they probably just tried them on and that was it. But I love them. And I think they're going to be so comfortable. Like they feel like a really comfortable sneaker. You know, something that you can just slide on and run your errands, do what you need to do, run through the airport if you need to. And here's the other one. Same thing on the other side. What I love about Chanel is they always hide CCs all over the place, which is pretty cool. It even has the little sticker right here. I imagine this came on the shoe when it was straight out of the box, straight from the store. Probably the trendiest piece I've ever purchased from them. One of probably the trendiest designer piece I own actually. Most of the time if I'm picking up a luxury piece or a designer piece, I go for something really classic, like the basics because that's something that I know I'm going to keep for the long run. But you can't go wrong with a comfortable shoe. I mean, I will absolutely get wear out of these. I don't think they'll be too difficult to keep clean because the black suede part is at the nose. This I'll have to be careful. This white nylon, I could see that getting really dirty. But I'm not gonna be wearing these hiking. <laughs> I'm not going to be wearing these working out anywhere dusty dirty outside these are going to be worn like to the mall and back and that's about it or maybe to lunch but not really going crazy this is not going to be an outdoor sneaker it's going to be a fashion sneaker since i don't have any i want to look fashionable and casual at the same time i think it's such a cool look and it's definitely more of a popular aesthetic i think after COVID, even though we are go getting out and about a little bit more, things are just, just different. You know, loungewear is huge, casual wear is still really big. So something like this paired with 
shorts and maybe a blazer and a cool bag, I think that would be a really nice look as well. I've already thought about it so much in my head. I've styled these shoes a hundred different ways before I ever purchased them. So I was ready for this purchase. I've wanted them for way too long. I do really like the pink color of this dress, but if the cardigan dress was black and white, I think that would even pair really nicely with the sneakers. But I'm sure I will find a bunch of cute outfits to pair them with. But that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face. All of the discount information and my favorite pieces from Ana Luisa will also be linked down below at the top of the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.